Model Making Guru is sponsored by emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Hey everyone, it's Fox from Model Making Guru here. Hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to another episode in the Warhammer Conquest part work. It's been a bit delayed because of Christmas and the holidays, but welcome back. We've got a bumper episode for you today. Now, if you're not familiar with what this is, it's a part work by Hachette Part Works. Over the course of 80 issues, you get to build up a Space Marine and a Nurgly Death Guard army, all of your own, with set pieces and everything as well you get loads of rules and data cards and all that kind of stuff and thanks to the very massive kindness of one of my patrons george my very good friend george who's made it possible for me to subscribe to the premium package of that we're getting everything that the part work has to offer now over the few last year or so last few months we've been building everything up i did start out painting these i was painting most of them following the magazine so you could see how it was done and a few of them i was going to paint with a special proper grown-up paint job but i decided recently to scrap that those models that we've already painted will be stripped completely stripped back to plastic and what i'm going to do is once i've built everything once i've had all the models and everything's been built we're going to go back to basics and i'm going to paint everything properly and show you how to paint everything properly decided there's no point me showing you how to paint them like they are in a magazine because that's what the magazine's for so you could you don't have to watch my series you can just follow the guide in the magazine but if you want them to look even better i'll be showing you how to paint all of it so that's gonna be later in the year at the moment we're going through we're getting everything built up and in these videos i'm just showing you what you get each month now the last video you remember we got up to issue 62 now this one we've had a delay because of christmas and the, you know the, all the holidays so in this one we're going to go from issue 63 all the way up to issue 70 now because thanks to george's kindness i'm on the premium pack i have also got a war gear set and some other bits that have turned up as well so we're going to have a look at those but let's start off with this letter this letter turned up now if you are going to subscribe to this part work if you if you haven't done it yet or if you've only had your first few issues you need to keep your eyes open for these letters when you get your package each month you'll get four issues in a package maybe a box or a black envelope and occasionally you'll get your invoice but occasionally with the invoice letter you'll have a second letter it's very important you realize is if you're on the premium package there's extras that you get uh, books and other things that aren't actually normally part of the package they're just kind of real nice extra the shiny art books and things and they work on an opt-out basis so you get a letter like this now this arrived with issues 63 to 66 and it basically says that i'm going to get a ring bound folded how to paint silver templars guide in a coming package and it says basically if i don't want that because it's going to cost me 34.99 or 39.99 euros if i don't want that i have to contact them and opt out if they don't hear from me they'll assume i want it and they'll send it in a future package and charge me for it so if you are subscribing to this part work and you haven't noticed this yet i think it's premium members only but it might be for all subscriptions keep your eyes open for the letters that come every now and then because they will say we want to send you this thing we've reserved one for you but if you don't want it let us know it's just a good way to avoid any unexpected charges because you'll get charged for your normal magazines plus the extra for this now this says it seems to suggest it'll come in the next delivery but it hasn't turned up yet so i'm assuming it's the next delivery after that so yes you do get a letter in issue 63 to 66 telling you about the how to paint guide which looks quite good and we'll have a look at that when it turns up okay so cracking on starting of course with the first one which is issue 63 uh, we get 10 more pox walkers in this and another plague marine now when i first started this project the thought of 10 more pox walkers because we get 40 in total would have been like oh really more 10 because i was going to build them all up paint them like the magazine says then strip them all down again and after i'd filmed everything paint them properly for myself but now i'm not doing that i'm just going to paint them properly from the start i'm not quite so apprehensive about it i'm looking forward to painting these because i've got some ideas how i'm going to paint them to, you know for you guys to watch so because we're not doing the magazine paint job anymore so 10 more pox walkers and a plague marine of course we go through a lot of fluff some information on the dark angels we've got a little tiny bit of fluff on the eldari space elves 
We of course as always get lots of fluff on successor chapters, so chapters who aren't actually ultramarines because I really wish this whole series wasn't having you paint everybody's ultramarines. It does cause a problem for me because George, who obviously is helping to you know fund this whole project, he's inheriting, he will get the Space Marines and I'll keep the Death Guard, and he doesn't want them painted as ultramarines. He wants them painted as something else, which is fine because I'd much rather paint them not ultramarines. But some of the models have ultramarine symbols and sigils moulded into them, like on pauldrons and greaves and things like that. So it's going to be interesting to figure out how to get rid of them. And some of them we've already built, we'll have to do some carving and scraping and sanding. For the ones we haven't built yet, if they have the sigil on their pauldron, I've got some spare space marines, I can swap the pauldrons out, so we can just do that. But yeah, we're going to have to do some little bit of modding work to get rid of excessive ultramarine symbols, because they ain't going to be ultramarines. I wish they'd chosen something else. But you, of course you have the choice before you start. There's lots of other orders here. And don't forget if you're on the premium package, you will have got that big fat poster with 100 different chapters on there as well. So you can paint them however you want. Lots more fluff. We get then to the buildy buildy part. You've built these guys before. They're slightly different to the ones you've had before, but you've, you know, you've built these before. Uh, and then we're on to the little bit of gameplay. Not a lot in this episode or in this issue, because there's not a lot to show. Uh, but that is issue 63. Let's have a look at the plastic. Of course, there's only one possible thing you can divine from an enormous collection of bases. Yeah, pox walkers. Yeah. Now, as I can say, I was I was kind of apprehensive of doing so many pox walkers, but when you look at them, no matter what painting worries you might have, when you look at them, they're so beautifully sculpted. All that detail. It's impossible not just to want to get them built and painted. It's fantastic, so I'm looking forward to that. Again, slightly different from the other ones, but I, I just, I, I really can't wait to get painting pox things and buboes and pus and yeah, we're gonna have some fun with those. So that is the plastic that comes with Israel 63. Issue 64 is next, and with this one, no plastic, but we do get a refill for the Astro Granite texture paint for your bases. Now, I'm not going to use this when I do my basing, so it's just a second spare pot for me, but lovely, lovely. You may you may choose to use that. But at the end of the day, it's free paint. It's free paint. Now, more fluff in this one. We take a quick look at the solar system, uh, some background, more of the, of the timeline of the history. We start to look at Tyranids, and there's a bit of a showcase here. Now, if, you, if you've never considered Tyranids before, uh, they're one of those armies where you have like a trillion blob troops. A blob troop is when you have a unit, say a, an individual who's very very weak and easily killed and by themselves is completely useless. Like an Imperial Guard, like Acadian Guardsmen. Um, they've got a little tiny LAS rifle that doesn't do a lot and on their own they can be killed really easily. But you don't put a squad of five Imperial Guardsmen on the table, you put like 200 of them to sort of swarm the enemy with sheer numbers. Individually they're completely feeble and weak but throw 200 of them on the table and your enemy has a bit of a battle on their hands. So with Tyranids, it's similar. You've got the sort of mass. I, I don't know much about Tyranids, but I do know you'll paint a lot of them. But there are some very good techniques for Tyranids that you can paint them quickly. They're very good for speed painting because it's mostly carapace and a little bit of flesh. So if you're looking at big, massive, bulky armies that you can paint quickly, Tyranids are pretty good for that. Information on drop pods, some more background fluff, the Chronicles of Blood. The Blood Angels must contend with the deadliest threat they have ever faced, the full might of a Tyranid invasion. The Tyranids are not the only feather to sail the sons of Sanguinius, however, from the Great Rift spill forth demons and heretics committed to the destruction of mankind. Yes, so lots of that fluff. Uh, then in this issue, we're talking, they, they give you some texture paints, I'm not going to show you much about that, but they start to talk about layered highlights using things like Thousand Suns Blue and Temple Guard Blue. So they are starting to get into more intense paint processes here. The paint jobs that you'll have at the end of the, of the end of the part work, if you follow, you know, if you just follow the magazine, they won't look bad. They'll look fine. They'll be tabletop quality. They'll look pretty. If you've never painted before, they'll look great. They'll look fine. But what I'm going to do is go a bit more in depth, a bit more in depth than some of these, uh, just to make them a bit more interesting. I tend to do a more realistic paint style than a, a layers and highlights paint style. Not all the time, but mostly. So my look will be a little bit, I might use this technique here and there, but you'll see how it comes out. But if you are just beginning, it is a really good way to start. If you want to just follow the magazine to just get your feet in, then it's a really good way. Uh, and then we go to the gameplay stuff, which again is using custom map setups and alternative setups. Uh, I think these, I think these are things, looking at this, because I haven't looked through these yet, I'm getting the impression 
like in the last magazine and this one these are things you can cut out and place onto your playmat that you've received so far now if you remember in the last episode we had issues where it said use this thing that you can cut out and there wasn't anything so i assume it's things like this so yeah there we go so that is issue 64 no plastic with that one so let's move on to issue 65 now with issue 65 we're back in the plastic and we just have two minis in this one we have two space marine heroes and now the fluff as always we start to talk about terminators i do like the look i've not had got not got any terminators but i do like the look of the of the sort of armor they wear and the helmets this helmet here just if you're interested if you go to warhammer world in nottingham this is a, a, a not i wouldn't say life size but it's a physical helmet like this it's massive uh, on display so you can actually see that and when you see it up close in real life i'll be honest with you it's a bit shonky it's i'm guessing it's made out of like resin or fiberglass and they've kind of molded it and stuff and it's more like a prop it's not the best paint job in the world when you look at it close up it's not it's not it's not brilliant it's just fine but it's not brilliant Considering, you know, there's people in the painting team that paint miniatures of these, they, they think they would have done a better job. But it's, it's still nice to see a f almost full-size helmet. Uh, so information on Terminators. Blurb on Corn, the Blood God, Blood for the Blood God. And a beautiful model there of Bloodthirster. Uh, more information on Fluff and background, more Tyranid stuff. And then on to the buildy of these two Space Marine heroes. Now, it's interesting with these uh they go into what we're talking about here base colors it's kind of they've kind of truncated it down here's the base colors apply the base colors now before there would have been a whole page like three or four painting pages for this this is just paint them to look like this because you've done base colors now add the shades because you've done shades now you know what you're doing do some highlights they go into detail so they are focusing more on the more detailed bits and they're, they're concentrating less on the basic you know getting the base colors and shades because they kind of know you can do that now it is interesting to note as well when it says space marine heroes it's not the space marine heroes that you started off in japan where you get the blind box with like a space marine in it and you don't know which one it is it's not them it just happens to be the same name and these are actually older models the interesting thing is even though this guy looks like a primaris marine he's not it's an old this is his his model is pre primaris marines it just happens to have that helmet design these are our old style space marines you can tell because they've got the more stocky less realistic body type so but yeah good little figures good little figures two captains i think they're captain yes captains uh and then of course we go on to the gameplay now it's interesting now because it's starting because your army is getting big it's starting to get you to plan your own armies and starting to explain how to do army lists when you want to play a full game of warhammer 40k you know it might be a little skirmish game but if you want to play a proper full-on massive game with lots and lots of minutes all over the table you're going to be preparing army lists and it's starting to give you an introduction to that and it'll go into more detail in future issues uh, more data cards and then of course that's issue 65 issue 65 of course only needs two bases unlike issue 63 because uh, we've only really got two dudes these are the space marine heroes uh, and as you can see it's that lovely beautiful molding that we've had so far in the not quite games workshop plastic but it's still kind of fun to play with fun to carve and, and work with but it does give the crispest of details and looking at these you can see the date on here is 2015 you can see they are pre-primaris marines like i said earlier they're not they're not anything related to the space marine heroes that were the blind box sets nothing to do with that uh, but yeah they are lovely i'm gonna look forward to painting those lots of crisp details as always this, this this plastic has has been quite a pleasure to work with it's different but it's not quite as good as games workshop plastic but it's not bad it's better than 95 percent of other manufacturers it's considering it's the third party making them they've done a fantastic job on the moldings because if you if if you basically gave all the games workshop molds to revel they'd, they'd screw it up they'd make them full of flash they'd be soft squishy details it'd be horrible if you gave them to airfix they'd just come out like flexible butter so yeah whoever is making these good job good job issue 66 and we've gone into the salmon pink color scheme this time one plastic dude with this one we have the plague marine icon bearer a bit more fluff in here we've got the black templars we've got some nurgle fluff we've got some annals paul annals it says annals i know what paul's like of the space wolves 
I might actually build a Space Wolf army at some point because I do like them. I've got the bits to convert uh, an Imperial Knight into a Space Wolf Knight. So at some point I might build the Space Wolf's army because why not? Space puppies, you can't go wrong. Some uh, blurb and fluff on an Eldari craft worlds and some more model showcases. I like the fact they've started doing this with showing you lots of you know showcases of builds and models. And then of course the long drawn out instructions on how to build your dude. There's two steps, that's it. Uh, lots of painting again they're doing the quick sort of shortcut guide so you've got base colors shades then lots of highlighting where they can focus their attention and then we're on to the gameplay uh, and on this one uh, are they going into lists now no more they're not going into lists again on this one but you've got a data sheet for the dude and some more play style stuff so they've given you a little taste of how to build up your army lists they're going to go into that more detail i think in future episodes so that is 66 let's take a look at this dude's plastic not a lot of plastic to show on this one really uh, just uh, the single figure again as with all this death guard stuff wonderfully fantastically sculpted and designed a lot of the death guard stuff is only a few years old what's the date on this one uh, 2017 because it came from the um, dark vengeance set was it the dark the other one the the box set they're all fairly you can tell by the monopose they're only a couple of years old so lots of lovely lovely beautiful detail on there especially on the banner again there's not really much to say about these other than i'm really looking forward to painting it and you can't go wrong lovely lovely next up is issue 67 now I did show at the start that letter that said you're going to get this flippy flippy painting guide with your next delivery. The last four magazines, I received them at the start of December. These four magazines coming up, I received at the start of January. This was the next delivery, but I haven't had the flippy flippy paint chart. So I don't know what's going on. I haven't had it. I would have guessed it should have come with these. So if you are subscribed to this, I don't know if you're supposed to get the flippy flippy thing with these or with the next delivery which will be february so and i hate saying february 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 i can't say that let me know in the comments below if you got your flippy flippy paint guide when you got these four or if you get them next time i don't know i maybe it's been sent separately and lost in the post it's possible i don't know anyway issue 67 we're back to the space marines and we have five space marine snipers have a look at those in a second uh, as always we get lots of fluff it's talking about the chapter champions and as it says here champions are the most skilled warriors in their chapter tasked with dueling the most deadly of enemy warriors and i love this this looks just that's so like skyrim that's so elder scrolls elven armor i'm wearing some elven armor in skyrim right now and it kind of looks just like that it's brilliant <laughs> uh, we've got some more champions there it starts to give you then some fluff on the death watch now death watch a lot of people like to play Death Watch because Death Watch are like the kick-ass of the kick-ass. And the way Death Watch work is, if you're a Spes Marine, whatever chapter you're with, if you're the best of the best that your chapter has to offer, you may have the possibility to go and join the Death Watch because the Death Watch are the best of all different chapters. Uh, they tend to have very similar armor but they have different emblems from their previous chapter. So for you can see here, there's like four examples. They've got intercessors from Ultramarines, They've got them from the uh, uh, Imperial Fists, from Dark Angels, and from the Crimson Fists. So they all wear the same armour, black armour, but they have the original colour and the sigil on their right pauldron. And that's how you know the Death Guard. Some of them are a little bit different. These guys, it's a different paint job. They've done this as a Space Wolf one, but he's still got the multicoloured little wiggly bit on his knee. So they do vary, but they're kind of the best of the best. And they've got awesome. Everything's black. Everything's completely black. And I like that. Uh, then of course we've got the plastic for the sniper scouts we'll have a look at that in a minute they are old moldings these are old uh, models but they're still quite good uh, painting guide again quickly gloss over the base colors uh, and for some reason i saw that and just in my mind it went that's batman i don't know why my brain's being weird a nice tutorial on how to paint different kinds of camouflage on your cloaks which is kind of cool uh, and more basing and layering and highlighting and then we're into more gameplay stuff sort of missions to play and some data cards for your scout squad let's have a look at this old ass plastic the date on these sprues is 2005 these are some very very old uh, figures you can tell they're old in a lot of ways they're, they're not quite monopose but they're they're less monopose than modern figures uh, also they you can pop the date on there it says 2005 you can just tell 
by the way they've got separate legs and torsos for the most part that dates them as well but they are beautifully crisp again whoever's making these sprues has done a fantastic job capturing all the details when I mean, you think these are you know 15 years old these models not this specific one but this sprue and yet they're still doing a good job of it most impressive we're going to look forward to painting these you've got some rolled up bed rolls and these cloaks are going to be good fun to paint so yeah we're going to have fun with those so there you go so space marine snipers mm. issue 68 uh, we can get more plastic with this one and we get our hemotrope reactor for reacting all your hemotropes uh, we have some more annals paul annals of the space wolves uh, more successor chapters we have some information on the harlequins harlequins are quite fascinating and I'll, I'll never i'll never have an harlequin army because i frankly do not want to paint their paint scheme all the sort of checker hard strange enough harlequin pattern no i don't want to do that <laughs> no 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 uh, but they do have some fantastic models uh, more background fluff instructions on how to build your hemotrope reactor which is not complicated and then how to paint it they're sticking with quite a simple paint scheme here lots of silvers and golds and bronzes and a few other bits and bobs lots of detail painting i don't know how i'll paint these yet this scenery i've not quite decided i think what i will do when i paint the scenery is i'll try and tie it all in together so i don't want to paint say the uh, tractor thing whatever that that thermo blobulon servo hauler thermic reacting couple blob thing that bulldozer thing i don't want to paint that nice and rusty and dirty and filthy and then paint something like this clean and shiny so i'll probably do all the scenery in one go because i want it to all like have a uniformity and a, uh, you know be connected because it's all gonna, as if it's in the same place that's a lot of words then for not really saying much i do apologize uh mission briefings some more gameplay and that's it for your magazine this time for your gameplay that's issue 68 let's have a look at our hematrope reactor plastic not a lot to share with these hematrope reactor i think we've had one of these already i, th I forget now it comes as one big giant sprue i've just trimmed it to fit in a bag but yeah i think we've had one of these already it's only a few years old this molding so it's beautifully crisp and detailed it's, it's not really i am I, i'll be honest with you i do run out of things to say when i show the plastic off because there's only so many times i could say it's not games workshop plastic it's lovely and crisp lovely 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 but it's not games workshop plastic but it's lovely and crisp lovely 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 <laughs> yeah i'm channeling paul there aren't i sorry issue 69 cashier number four please uh one dude with this one we get the plague marine champion we'll take a look at it in a second more successor chapters uh, and a lot of fluff in this one about the astra militarum now very very quickly if you're looking to get uh, to build an army and you want as much choice and variation as possible imperial is the way to go and especially imperial guard the astro militarum they used to be called imperial guard until games workshop realized it can't really copyright imperial guard so it renamed them to astro militarum because they can copyright that so if you're looking for as much variation as possible given the fact that these guys can ally with anything imperial space marines anything you want there's so much to choose from it's not just a Lehman Russ and Acadian trooper there's so many different things that are all counted as allies for the Imperial Guard including their you know, different factions aircraft Katachans uh, you've got Death Corps of Krieg which is Forge World stuff you've got Cadians Talon you've got Armageddon Steel you've got all so much stuff if you want as many models to play with as possible Imperial Imperial Guard and associated sort of allied factions are the way to go uh, indomitus crusade with rowboat girly man doing his bit i mean come on he's got his name on his port on his pauldron how just egotistical is that i don't know rowboat girly man lots more fluff then we're building our single model a plague marine champion that's kind of it again there were three steps this time not two and then the plate the painting base colors shades highlighting thing extra there you go so they're sticking to that format now base layer uh, base shades and highlights and then some more gameplay stuff again quite short they're, they're getting quite short these now these are really just here's a new mission for you to play because they've, they've got other stuff to show you later on so and that's it so that is uh, issue 69 i'll show you the plastic and then we'll be on to the last one after that and of course the last lot of plastic in this video in these issues the uh, the champion here lots of fantastic detail on the weapon the strap there on his arm absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna have so much fun in a, in a way when, when when me and george had this conversation and he said he'll take the space marines and i can have the death guard 
I will be honest, at first I'm like, I kind of like the Space Marines, but that's what I thought at first. But you know, being honest, having had a chance to look at these close up and as I'm building them and as I'm thinking about how I'm going to paint them, I'm going to, the ones I've already painted for the, from the magazine guide, I'm going to strip down. I've got some ideas how to paint these and it may not be the normal method. It might not be the regular colour scheme, but as I'm painting these, I'm thinking, you know what? I'm actually glad that I'm keeping the Death Guard because painting the Death Guard is going to be a lot more of an involved job, I think, than painting the Space Marine side. Um, and I'm, I'm, obviously, I'm going to do a fantastic job for George. I'm going to do the best job I can do because they're for him. But when it comes to these guys, I can really take my time because they're for me and I can do that. So I'm looking forward to how we're going to paint these. And ultimately, because the, they're for me, I can paint them however I want. So I've got that freedom, which also makes it more fun. So I'm looking forward. At first, I was disappointed. I was petrified. No, don't break out into song. At first, I was disappointed that I wasn't going to get the Space Marines. But after a while, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm glad I'm not. I'm glad I'm getting these guys. So yeah, as always, lovely, lovely, not Games Workshop Plastic, lovely, lovely, just nice cup of tea. And last, but by no means least, issue 70. Yes. Now we get again two paints, no plastic with this one, just two paints. We have White Scar, where's the label there? It is White Scar, which is a white layer paint, and Cadian Flesh Tone, which is a flesh coloured paint in the middle there. There you go, White Scar and Cadian Flesh Tone. So you can see where it's, you can guess what it's going to tell you about in this magazine. And I have some fluff on Holy Terror. This is Earth, yes. which is kind of the, uh, the obviously the home world for the Imperium of Man. It's where the Emperor lives, where Emps has his palace or his fortress in the Himalayas. But talks about Earth and what it's like to live on Earth. Uh, we have Centurion Assault Squad, some more fluff about the Space Marines, some more Paul Annals, Paul of the Space Wolves. And then it's showing you how to do, basically this is all um, highlight painting now. So White Scar is a highlight coat for your whites and light colours. Cadian Flesh Tone, of course, is a highlight colour for your flesh tones. So a lot of your Death Guard or any Space Marines with exposed heads and flesh, anything like that, you're going to be using. So not, not a massive painting guy, but the Given all the stuff you built so far, a lot of painting. Uh, and then we talk about battle forged armies in the gameplay section. Uh, this is where you can start to get various traits and perks in your gameplay style because you're using a battle forged army and it'll go into detail on that. It starts to look at uh, your rosters, so your battle forged army rosters again. It started discussing this a little bit in a previous issue, going into more details. And that is uh, issue 70. Now, that's not everything because, of course, we're on the premium package, we do get a new war gear set. Let me have a look at that for you. Before we go through the war gear pack, do apologize. I don't know which delivery these came with, whether it was from 63, 64, 65, 66, or with 67, 68, 69, 70. I'm not sure. Again, it's been a long month and a half. We've had Christmas and I blinked since then. But at some point over the course of those two deliveries, first of all, we have had another folder. This will be the fourth and final one now. Take note, Diagostini, we actually get folders as part of our subscription. We don't have to pay extra. The X-Wing one, you get your first one free, you've got to pay for the rest. Psh, how cheap is that? Um, so yes, we get our fourth and final folder. When I finish this, I kind of realised how you're supposed to use these. When we've finished all of these, I'm going to go back and get my magazines. I sorted them all out into the first folder, into the different sections. Build, and was it law, build, paint and play. And they're all ordered in that first binder. But what you're supposed to do is use one for the law stuff, one for build, one for paint, and one for play. So you've got four folders, one of each. So that's what I'm going to do when I finish. I'll go back and rearrange them all. But for the moment, I'm just dumping each magazine in, in order in the magazine. So we get one of those. We also get another pizza box of happiness. And in this one, we've got our final war gear. I think this is the final one, the final war gear set. Let's take a look at what we get in this pizza box. Hopefully, no insects. First thing we get, of course, yeah, dice, 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 dice. Yeah, we get more of these lovely, lovely coloured dice. And I do like these coloured dice. We've now got red, blue, yellow, and green. I'm liking these. So these are going to go into the collection with the others. My first real dice sets, and it'll be all multicoloured. And they look like, it looks like lime jelly. It looks, the reason I like these dice so much that we've got with this series is because they look edible. And I've never really, this is going to sound like a weird admission, but I've never really looked at dice as anything other than they're just dice. Like, if you look at that, it's just a die. It's just, yeah, it's a die. But you look at these, they're beautiful. I like them. They're like things to be proud of. So, yeah, I like those. I may have to, uh, 
I don't know, you only get 20 of them. And it might be that I need more than 20 dice. So I might have to find someone who's selling their Warhammer Conquest dice and buy all theirs as well. So I have millions of them. Yeah. So we get some dice. Is it Ooh, snake eyes? Like all previous issues, we get more little token cards. Nice thick uh, card stock there. And we get some more data sheets for all the magazines so far. So again, like always, we get them split between Chaos death guard and we get the space marine ones so we have stratagems the repulsor now we haven't this will this will take you up to issue 80 because we haven't had the repulsor yet and there's two data cards for that scout squad we've got the captain the captain so these are going to be this is the final batch of data cards we've got the chaos spawn not had them yet the tallyman we've not had yet so yeah these are the final bunch of cards so you're going to get bits for these that uh, we haven't been made aware of yet kits we haven't received yet i'm gonna do it that way i think so there we go some more data cards that i can't get back in without looking like a spoon hang on <laughs> and last of all a new game board again it's this really thick card stock it's really really nice i can't show it you all on camera because it's mahusive as always but it's this really thick solid card stock if you're not subscribed to the premium um, subscription then you'll get the paper foldy foldy ones in the magazines but this is real proper thick heavy duty card stock so if you're playing on home at uh, home on the table um, and you haven't gone out and spent several hundred quid on the proper full massive plastic board pieces these will do fine you can link these all together get yourself loads of terrain it just means you're not playing on a bare tabletop and these are really nice they'll last you a long time I do quite like these so yeah you get one of those and that is all the bits and with the roll of the magic dice and the lighting or reflecting off the magazines i do apologize uh, that is it we're up to date now we're up to issue 70 that's as many issues as i've actually had we've only got 10 more to go now i don't know how they're going to do this if they're going to have uh two more deliveries so one in february one in march with five each or maybe they're going to do a four, a four, and a two. So one in February with four, one in March with four, and then one in April with the last two, 79 and 80, last two issues. If I remember rightly, the last two issues should be the Space Marine Repulsor Tank, the Primaris Repulsor, split into two. So I think what they'll probably do is four issues in Feb, four issues in March, and the last two in April. So we've got two to three months to go. So we're looking forward to getting all these painted there. Once everything's built, and done we'll crack on with the painting and i cannot wait that's going to be the big project for this year is get all these painted up there's a lot to do lots to do anyway that's going to do us a big massive thank you to george my lovely lovely patron who makes this possible thank you very much for watching go and check the description below the video for all the usual links to help support this channel and other ways to save money for yourself but until next time take care of yourselves go make something awesome like these go be awesome or you already are and until next time i shall say adios amigos